Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to set a minimum order amount for checkout. So for example, I don't have anything in my cart now. So if I click add to cart for this product, I go to my cart page now, I will see this notification, which is saying your uh, current order is $15. You must have an order with a minimum of $50 to place your order. And even though I have this press to checkout button, if I click on this button, I don't have this notification here. Um, this notification is showing up only on the cards page. That's the way I want it to be. And then if I click on place order, for example, and I didn't, I don't have, you know, more than $50, I'm, I'm going to get this on whenever I click on the submit button, I'm going to get this error with the other errors that, that uh, which are telling me to, to uh, fill in all this information here. So uh, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to build this uh, programmatically. I'm going to use the functions.php file from my uh, storefront child team. So here, if I'm going to the dashboard appearance themes, I have storefront installed and there's the storefront child team installed here and activated. So I'm going to use the functions.php file from this team to create this functionality in PHP. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the functions.php file from my storefront child team folder, which is in WP content themes folder. So I have functions.php, screenshot.png, that all this stuff comes from the, you know, store from chat. Okay, so here I'm going to start with the comment. So uh, the comment is going to say, set a minimum order amount for checkout. And I will start with a function name first. And I will start with a function. The function is going to be uh, WC, which means WooCommerce underscore minimum. Oops. Uh, minimum underscore order underscore amount and uh, we, we won't use any parameters so here the first thing we want to do is the, uh, is uh, to set um, a variable with a minimum amount that we want to use on our website so let's say here set this uh, variable to specify a minimum order value so we will have a variable which is going to be minimum and we will assign uh, to this minimum let's say 50 this is going to be $50 or 50 liras or depending on your stores money that you, your money you, the way you set up your store okay so first of all here is going to be a if statement which is going to check the, the current price with the minimum price here just to see which one is greater than which so we'll have wc which means woocommerce object and we grab from here the total price from the card so here's going to be total like this and we will check if this is uh if the minimum price is greater than the total price so we'll have minimum here uh, then here we will also have uh, we will check if the current page we're on right now is the card so I'm gonna have if is card okay so if if it's card then I want to print that notification on top of the uh, products list so I'm gonna use WC which means WooCommerce print underscore notice okay and here I'm gonna use S print f and I will say here your current order total is percent s which means it's going to be a dynamic volume uh, you must have you must have an order with a minimum say minimum of we'll have dollar sign and s to place your order space here we'll have comma like this and and here we will have the the actual uh, data that goes here that's going to be printed so the first one here let's just do like this okay so the first one is uh, WC which means WooCommerce all these hooks are WooCommerce predefined hooks functions wh whatever you can call them and then we have here uh, WC underscore price. So this is the current price. So we'll use the WooCommerce object to grab the cards total price. Make sure this is an arrow. And so this data from here is going to be printed here. 
and now for the second variable we will have pretty much the same thing except here we will have the minimum value like this and one more thing here is after we have this as, as print half we should have a comma and just output error if there's any kind of errors okay okay so we have this done this if statement is in place here um, there's gonna be an else statement so if we're not on the is card page then we will just store this notice uh, this notification in the back end of the WordPress so um, <clears throat> the way I want it to work is I want to print this notification on the cards page only so if I, we are not on the cards page I want I still want to have it but I want to have it in the back end uh, so for example if you remember from the demo whenever I went to the checkout page I didn't see this notification on, on the top of the page I saw it only after I clicked on the submit button on the place order button which submitted all the data to the server and then server detected this notice and it output it on the screen it didn't let me submit the form okay <clears throat> in order for us to do this I have to it's gonna be pretty much the same thing except we're changing the hook here so the hook is gonna say uh, WooCommerce add notice like this and it's gonna be pretty much the same thing as here so we'll have the same thing we have here just let's make sure we don't misspell anything okay and now uh, we want to fire this function we want to call this function in two places in two um, uh, one is going to be the WooCommerce checkout process um, we will use the WooCommerce checkout process hook to fire this function which is uh, whenever it checks for um, uh, whenever we click on the submit button and also we want to fire this function on the WooCommerce before cart so uh, before going to cart this uh, function is going to be fired before uh, and we will have this either stored in the back end or if we are on the cards page we will see it on the screen so let's do here add action and this action uh, as I already said the hook is going to be WooCommerce underscore checkout underscore process and here goes the functions name and the second one is WooCommerce before cart and it's the same function so we fire this function in two places in our store okay so if I save it now go back here just refresh to make sure we don't have any errors and I'm gonna click on this product add to cart I'm going here I'm gonna see this stuff here you see your current order total is $15 you must have a minimum of $50 okay I click to uh, uh, pro proceed to checkout I don't see it here okay now but I, if I click on place order so whenever I click on the place order the WooCommerce checkout uh, uh, process hook is going to be fired up so I click here and here we go I see it here with the other errors here all right, so that's it, guys. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. There's going to be a link in the description from where you can grab the source code. Thank you very much for your attention, and I will see you in the next video.